Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Faradina Naura Agnia from class X IPA 1 and today I'll present about Uhud War. Uhud War is a war that happened in the Uhud year. The definition of Uhud War. The Battle of Uhud War was the second military encounter between the Meccans and the Muslims and the first one is in which the Muslims were on the defensive side. Many Muslims were killed and Muhammad himself was severely injured. The Muslims had to withdraw up the slopes of Uhud. Where and when? Uhud war was fought on Saturday, 7 Shawwal 3 Hijriah, in the valley north of Mount Uhud. The Qurayshi Makans, led by Abu Sufyan ibn Harb, commanded an army of 3,000 men towards Muhammad's stronghold in Medina. The battle was the one that was the only battle throughout the Muslims' Quraysh war in which the Muslims did not manage to defeat their enemy, and it became just a year after, and it came just a year after the Battle of Badr. Abu Sufyan became the leader of the Quraysh after the death of Amr bin Hisham at Badr nine months period. Wanting to avenge the Meccans loses the, at the Battle of the Badr, he marched up he marched upon Medina from Mecca on 10th December 624 with a force three times stronger than that of the Meccans at Badr. Another reason for the battle was to protect the trade route of Abu Sufyan's caravans. The Battle of Uhud was the second military encounter between the Meccans and the Muslims and the first one in which the Muslims were on the defensive side. The Muslims re-died for were soon afterward and the two armies fought in the valley below the northern face of Mount Uhud. Although outnumbered, the Muslim gained the early in initiative and forced the Meccans line back, thus leaving much of the Meccan camp unprotected. When the battle looked to be the only one step from a decisive Muslim victory, a serious mistake was committed by a part of the Muslim army, which altered the outcome of the battle. A breach of Muhammad's order by the Muslim archers who left their assigned post to despoil the Meccans camp allowed a surprise attack from the Meccan cavalry, led by Meccan's war veteran Khalid ibn al-Walid, which brought chaos to Muslim ranks. Many Muslims were killed and Muhammad himself was severely injured. The Muslim had had to withdraw up the slopes of Uhud. The Meccans did not pursue the Muslim further, as the mountain of Uhud had tough terrain, but marched back to Mecca declaring victory. For the Muslims, the battle was a significant setback. Although they had been close to routing the Meccans a second time, their breach of Muhammad's order in favor of collecting Meccan spoils reaped severe consequences. The two army would meet again in 627 at the Battle of the Trench, in which the Muslims would yet again have to defend Medina from the Meccans and other. The background of Uhud. At the Battle of Badr in March, in March 624, the Meccans lost 140 of the men. 70 were killed, while another 70 were taken captive, including Amr bin Hisham, Muhammad's antagonist who led the army at Badr against the Muslims. Muslims consider Muhammad's victory at Badr was con was caused due to divine intervention, and the Muslim during Muhammad's time believed they were assured such victories in the future. After the death of several important leaders at Badr, the leadership of the Quraysh passed to Abu Sufyan, who forbade the mourning of the of the loss of Badr, Badr. Eager to exact revenge upon Muhammad, he vowed to conduct a, relator, a retaliatory raid on the city of Medina. Several months later, Abu Sufyan accompanied a party of 200 men to the city, obtaining temporary residence with the chief of the Jewish tribe. Banu Nadir and learning more about the situation in Medina, and his and he and his party then left Medina, burning down two houses and laying waste to some fields in fulfillment of his vow. Further skirmishes between the Meccans and the Muslim were occurred thereafter. A few months later, Abu Sufyan gathered a command force of over three thousand men to retaliate against the Muslim for the losses of Badr. Thank you for your participation. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.